The structure of the Elizabethan government. Government in Elizabethan England. The monarch was seen to have a right to rule by the grace of God. Elizabeth made all the most important decisions in the country. She could reject any and all advice she was given. She could also reward people with land or a title or offering them support for their cause, which was known as patronage. Court. The court involved the people who lived in or near the palace that the reigning monarch lived in. Court consisted of members of nobility, including the monarch's servants, advisers, and friends. The permission of the monarch was needed to attend court. The court's role was to both entertain and advise the monarch. The court was also used as a public display of the power and wealth of the crown. Privy Council Made up of courtiers, advisers, nobles and senior government officials. Privy Council contained around 19 members who were chosen by the monarch. The senior Privy Councillor was called the Secretary of State, which at this time was William Cecil. They met at least three times per week with the monarch. They debated the issue they were currently facing. They advised the monarch on government policy. They ensured the monarch's decisions were carried out. They oversaw law and order, the local government, and the security of England. They also monitored justices of the peace. Monitored proceedings of Parliament, Parliament. Parliament consisted of the House of Lords and the House of Commons. Parliament could only be called and dismissed by the monarch. Elections were held before each new parliament however very few people actually at this time had to write to vote. Elizabeth first called parliament nine times during the years 1558 to 1588. Their purpose was to grant extraordinary taxation, which was additional taxation to pay for unexpected expenses such as war. Parliament passed laws. They also offered advice to the monarch. Lord's Lieutenant. The monarch would appoint a Lord Lieutenant for each county. Lord Lieutenants were usually members of the nobility and members of Privy Council. They were seen as crucial to maintaining the monarch's power and England's defences. Lord Lieutenants were in charge of raising and training the local militia and overseeing county defences. The local militia was a military force of ordinary people raised in an emergency. They also oversaw the enforcement of policies and were part of the local government. Justices of the Peace The justices of the peace were also members of the nobility. They were unpaid and reported to the Privy Council. Their role was a popular job and was seen as a position of status. Justices of the peace made sure all religious, economic and social policies were carried out. They heard county court cases every three months for serious crimes. They were part of the local government.